Okay, today I'm going to be starting a playthrough of Harkonnen, and I've played parts of it before, but um, Doratine's added a bunch of new content, and so I want to record that um, the first time I play through it. So let's go ahead and start a new game. And I think I'm going to kind of try a, a three character party. So let's have some of my standard characters. Let's see. his archer class as well. Okay, let's choose. Portrait. Portrait for a dwarf. For a cleric, we're going to give him some wisdom, some strength, and constitution. Let's see. Choice. So I'll get power attack at level three. Got minor healing is automatic. I'm not sure if Doratine is using alignment. It's it's turned on, but I'm not sure if he's done any checks or not in conversations, but we'll set that. And dexterity. Just trying to get a plus one here. Constitution's a minus one strength. Let's bring that to zero. I'm going to go with really high dexterity. Because that would be the long Okay, we've got some. 
some choices here. Survival, identity, diplomacy. Let's put some survival. Fingers. Level level one, level, level zero. <laughs> I think he's gonna be adding these automatically. I don't think I'm supposed to get red. So I'll just leave that. Okay, let's go with some intelligence, some dexterity is good, strength, constitution, let's a little bit of constitution. sure if he intends for me to use spell points to add this or not. Um, let's wait until level two to see if he adds that or not. This may just be that it hasn't been properly set up yet. Okay. So let's do that. That and that. So this is one of the things I used to do all the time when I played Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale is I'd play three characters with the hopes that they would advance levels a little bit quicker. Um, usually it's not quite as good of a party as a, a six-player party. Not as much firepower, but it's just a 
personal preference, I guess. Okay. The great walls of Castle Harkenwald soar into view through a chillness that has yet to burn away. Towering stonework, which seems more mountain than forest, climbs in a natural rocky state, reaching for the crenellated battlements. When Kelton Manor was roused to the ground, its refugees fled to this citadel, bearing a fierce look of being unassailable. After a nightmarish ordeal of running for days, you find sanctuary at last in a soft bed and even a plate of warm food. These squires sure do eat a lot, just as well with everything going on around here. You will need to keep up your strength. By the way, the name is Maliski, but you can call me Muggs. No one important, really. I'm one of the castle's head cook. But if you need anything to fill your belly, you just let me know. So we see down here, we've got the conversation. It looks like these two characters only get one option. This guy's got three. Thank you, it's delicious. I would think that cook's a fairly important position. It's comforting to find another dwarf. So since he's a dwarf, he gets this one. I'll try that one. I, that is it. Like unexpected treasure, I'll wager. But I have a history with Castle Harkonwood. My sire was a merchant and brought me here when I was only a wee lad. When this monarchy was also in its fled, fledgling stages. That was many years ago. We visited often and I learned much in the art food preparations. I would think the head cook is a fairly important position. Of course it's an important position. I was trying to practice some humility. I've been told I need to temper my dwarven pride. But don't let your flattery make you think you can't get an extra serving. However, if you fancy something different and come across various meal ingredients, just bring them back to me and I will see what I can throw on the ether. Should I find any food that might be cookable, I'll let you know. Okay, so that was a line. Um, so all this right here is all new. So that's a new one that he added. Because I'm a dwarf. So let's open our journal. to share. I have heard talk of rebellion in Scardale from the southern borders of the realm. Can you believe it? Um, let's go with this one. That is a little unusual asking me for rumors. Is it so odd? You are newly arrived at the castle. Surely you must have some interesting gossip from a far to exchange. I hear Maliski makes exquisite dumplings. Ah, that is hardly a rumor, more like common knowledge. Don't you have something better than that? Sorry, I've got nothing. <laughs> Very busy right now. Maybe we can find s some time to talk later. All right. Don't touch me. Ah, you are some of the survivors from Kelton Manor. Quite the tragedy. You should be thankful to be alive. Not treat this like an extended holiday. If I were you, I would find some quiet place to meditate upon that. 
and who might you be? I am Abbott Thespar Wordsmith, and you would do well to remember that. We will try and stay out of trouble. Sound like a friendly person. Okay, let's try here. Let's see, we've been here before. Let's... I remember you from the manor. My name is Tresara, but we didn't speak much. I was one of the serving maids. This whole experience has been unbelievable. Most of us who made it here are staying on this side of the castle. I like it by the fountain, anyway. The water is soothing, helps me forget. Let's go with number two. This is only temporary, we are just passing through some items here. An azure fountain plays here, the echoes of it splashing water resonating in the castle hall. This is a sense of tranquility that seems obvious, oblivious to the turmoil of the outside world. This is rather relaxing. So the door team's added some new tiles to the areas, doors, and walls. That's really good. I am a guardian farmer. My work was to till the fields and harvest the crops around Kelton Manor. But now there are no fields to till. The crops are the crops have been burned. Looks like we've got a different conversation here. Okay, so she has an extra one. So they get, you will be able to return home someday. And this one is if you have, if I have my way, the ones responsible also burn fire. So I wonder if that's because she's a wizard. Let's try it just for fun. Let's see. Let's talk to him again. This broken down man is quiet and has a pensive expression in his eyes. We will check back on you later. Okay, so we got a farmer. Kelton is dead, and now his ministers are locked away inside his fortress. What shall become of us? We should have never made this perilous journey. Better to face death at the manor than this uncertainty of Harkimov. That is some dangerous thinking. Squires really do not need to be here. Beyond this doorway lies some of the castle's riches. It is made available for merchants and others who exchange money within these halls. You may pass, but we will be watching your hands closely. You must be very trustworthy to be given this position.
old squires, I must advise you against taking these stairs. They lead to your resting quarters, which are present, which at present are being used by a mercenary company from the north. A rowdy, brawling bunch, they seem to me. Alas, these are desperate times, and certain officials will accept any evil arm into the service of the castle. The barbarians are always looking for a fight. If you go up there and trouble breaks out, we will not be held responsible. Any bloodshed will be swept under the carpet, so to speak. The stains washed away and excused as the nature of violent actions. Your barracks are on the other side of this hall. Thank you for the warning. Okay, that's new. I don't remember that before, but I definitely don't want to get in a fight right now. Don't have any weapons or armor or anything. This set of stairs leads to the next level of the castle. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. This bedding at least provides a blanket and a place to lay down one's head while you rest. Um, sure. The party is rested and all living members are at full hit points and spell points. Stamina. Stairs lead down. Please come sit and warm yourselves by the fire. Who are you? My name is Sebastian. I serve the castle in the role of supervising all clerics on the premises. Except, of course, the abbot Despar Wordsmith. He is the head of the church and maintains his offices in King Khan. But when he visits Harkenwald, even I must yield to his authority. Again, make yourself comfortable, but let us speak more at a later time. Thank you for your hospitality. Greetings, right. I trust your accommodations have been interesting. All things considered, I'm having my needs met. Right. So again, he's using some tr triggers there for conversation. is loose in the castle. Monster? Where? Oh, I see. Hmm. I am no monster. I seek your help. My tribe in the swamp is in trouble. We are too weak. No one to help. I have journeyed to fortresses of men to ask if you will help us. I'm really not authorized to make any promises. I understand. Please, come back when you are ready to hear my plea, or send others who will. Farewell. Okay, so we got there. I am waiting for an audience with your king. Yes, good luck with that. Alright. So, looks like we got a couple things there to remember. How 
looked like the only residents of the castle to provide us with entertainment. I'm afraid that I'll require more experienced, more seasoned adventurers for you to be of any use. Return to me at a later time. This room is filled with the poignant aroma of spices, flowers, and other exotic items that you cannot quite identify. There is also a tall, luring woman here who seems to wear a mantle of beauty and danger. Tremble not, brave squires. I don't bite. Then again, perhaps I can teach you a few things to sharpen your claws and fangs. It is a hazardous world outside and one needs every advantage to survive. So the dwarf gets an I'm confused. <laughs> Let's go with our wizard. Maybe we could start with an introduction. Of course, I am called Ixinini. I am the magus responsible for training young wizards at the court. If any of you show some aptitude for magic, I can perhaps assist you. For now, I will brew you a potion from my cauldron. It will replenish your eldritch energy when your strength is low. Thank you. So it says down here that the party gains an item and you regenerate light spell points. So we've got two of those. Do a quick save in the letter Q. The graven image of a warrior bearing sword and shield stands here. On the base of the pedestal is inscribed in the name Raven Crown. Crown. For a fleeting moment, you feel an overwhelming relief of security as you observe this carved image of a protector. The warrior shield is held forward, his primary intent as defender, yet the other arm is raised with weapon, a warning and promise that just ret retribution will visit upon any who might harm the ones he loves, and you wonder as you gaze, your gaze takes in the statue whole, if one day the eyes of others will fall upon your own deeds and remembrance. As you walk through the door, you find two torches burning between the shelves that line the walls, stacked with books. In the center of the study used for research is a desk covered in papers and manuscripts. Along the north wall, a plaque is posted that reads, Knowledge is half the battle. and manor are going to blemish the sculpted walls of this castle. I guess not everyone here is so friendly. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be very friendly. Okay, and ruddy light and a haze of smoke. Ruddy light and a haze of smoke suggest this room appears to be used as the castle fort. However, there is no one around. If you could locate the blacksmith, he might be able to help you with arms and armor. Or we can just take all this stuff. Alright, let's have a look what we got. So we have a mace for our tank, our clear. And nothing right now for our mage. Okay. Sir Lean, all 
altar rests against the east wall of the chapel. Momentarily struck by the beauty of such clarity in the stonework, this might be an appropriate place to leave a donation, or even pray, if one is so inclined. Pray for a miracle, okay. So it looks like since he's a cleric, he can actually pray for a miracle. Let's see what happens. Rest is granted and the dead restored to life. So that should come in handy. Welcome to the shrine to the Creator King. My name is Clarephil. I am but a humble servant of the Radiant Crown. If I can be of any assistance, either spiritual or healing, please let me know. I will leave you to tend to your duties. So that's cool. He's using some class checks there to see if I can do the resting and the healing. Do the quick save. I greet you into the service of Castle Harkenwald. I am in command of the knight recruits and others who swear allegiance to the king. My name is Corwin Cox. If you think yourself prepared, I might have some tasks for you. Nothing too dangerous, but speak with me again when you wish to be of use to the crown. I'm, I'm ready to prove myself. Very good squires. There is nothing gained by hiding behind the protection of these walls. It is time to contribute to the defense of the realm. Now listen carefully. I want you to patrol the road east of the castle. There have been sightings of goblins. They must be establishing a forward base of operations. Do not expect you to take them all out, just a show of force. That the Knights of Astaria still maintain a presence in the region. We cannot allow the Daggerford goblins to grow into a threat. Now go see the blacksmith. He should be able to outfit you with some proper equipment. We will head out and report back to you. Journal has been updated. What does the journal say? Knights in training quests. Goblin kin on the move. Commander Corwin Koss of Castle Harkenwald has given you your first assignment. Patrol the road to the east and keep watch for any goblin activity. Alright. What ties do you bring, Squires? Um, the blacksmith was not at the forge. What? Now that's a hell of a thing. There is no reason Farm wouldn't be at his station at this hour. I will have to track him down and see what this is all about. In the meantime, did you at least search the forge for some spare weapons and armor to take? Yes, there are some blades and leathers and a few other items. I am pleased that you still have the common sense to arm yourselves, show initiative. You have your orders, carry on then. We will head out and report back to you. Alright, so we are ready. Quick save. And I think this is a good stopping point for this first session. So we will be right back.